All right, what's up, you guys? I am here with a quick video, and I wanted to get everyone's opinion on this. I posted a poll a few hours ago about uh, if the WWE Network no longer had the modern pay-per-views, meaning, you know, the monthly pay-per-views, big four pay-per-views, B pay-per-views, all that stuff. Would you still have the network? And would you cancel it? So there's that question. And you can go vote on that poll. But the reason I'm even asking that is because of the talks that have been going around. Um, ever since the earnings call, there have been rumors that WWE is looking to sell their pay-per-view rights. There have been names like Amazon, uh, the NBC Peacock streaming service, which is a horrible title but whatever anyway but kind of the big name that is going around right now is ESPN plus and it would really go after the business model that the UFC is doing where they basically have their pay-per-view for $64.99 and you can order it through ESPN plus if you're a subscriber which is an additional $4.99 so you're paying around 70 bucks if you're just watching for UFC. And, you know, that's including the pay-per-view. So, obviously the WWE pay-per-view model has been different since 2014 with the network. And I honestly... I honestly think this could probably happen. Because network numbers are very down. They're not anywhere near what they could be and you know the more profitable thing would be for Vince to sell the pay-per-view rights um, for many reasons a you're just gonna be making more money uh, B exposure because ESPN is huge you know how many people have ESPN plus way more than the network so there's that exposure and you know it's going to that old-school pay-per-view model of you know, the sixty four ninety nine, which is what UFC has now. But I if WWE were to do this, I don't think it'd be sixty four ninety nine. I would think maybe forty. You know, pay per view prices have evolved. But there are people out there that still buy WWE pay per views. Like legit the old school way. So you know, this is an interesting process because this is basically admitting the network was a failure um, if they were to do this and you know I'm assuming the network will still be there uh, for old episodes of you know weekly TV obviously you're still gonna have the vast majority of pay-per-views and probably NXT as well maybe I mean that's a way to keep people you know, uh, at least have the takeovers on the network, but because there's no way you're going to have, you know, two pay-per-views back-to-back, NXT and WWE, while charging, you know, 50 plus dollars. But this is an interesting case. You know, I'm very much looking forward to seeing where this goes. I honestly don't know. You know, like I said, it could be Amazon. I doubt NBC, but you never know. So ESPN Plus right now is what it's looking like. But, you know, I definitely want to run this by everybody and get everyone's opinion. Um, some people don't know about this. And, you know, this is very much a public thing right now. This is 100% confirmed that they were talking about selling their rights. So we'll see what happens. But definitely let me know your thoughts down below. For now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.